Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello everyone, my name is Fafa and welcome to my creative cooking channel Ndudu by Fafa where the shenanigans of 2019 is happening. If you want to add more flavors to your dishes, natural flavors of course, and you want to treat yourself like the king and the queen that you are, this is a channel for you. What you need to do is click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, and the notification button so you do not miss a thing whenever a new video comes up. Seriously, I've been working so hard behind the scenes just to bring the best recipes, you know, tried and tested. Yeah, it all happens here. So yeah, let's see, drum roll. Donut, bread, or something else. You better watch to the end to find out. Absolutely. So what have I got for you today? So for the second episode of my how to infuse your herbs and spices to create new flavors, yeah, such a mouthful. I did in my first episode show you how to infuse your lavender and mint um, into your meat, which has given it this aromatic flavor. Now I'm going to be incorporating that in my stew and it's not going to be any other stew. Mm -hmm. So I will leave a link in my description box below to the previous recipe, which is the episode one of this recipe. So you can emulate this. Now I have got my extra virgin coconut oil and um, thanks to Selassie, I've got my Vita Coco and I'm melting that in my pot. Now to that, I'm also adding some onions. I'm just going to gently fry this mixture together. So allow the onions to fry gently in the coconut oil for about two to three minutes. Now to that, I'm going to be adding my petit bell chilies, which are locally known as bakbushito. You can use your normal green chilies, not a problem, or your cassava pepper as well. Now I've got my cassava pepper growing because I did plant um, one and it's growing really well. I'll show you later. Anyway, so now that I've got that, I'm going to be adding my tomato puree and I'm going to be frying this mixture gently for about five to six minutes just to allow that infusion to take place the coconuts the bakbushito the onion and the tomato puree so the tomato puree and the onions are sweet which is great and with the bakbushito it has almost like a grassy taste to it but not as spicy but it's just so so it just adds that sort of herby but aromatic flavor to the stew so yeah, I'm just going to be mixing this together and fry it, as I said, for about five to six minutes until it's well combined and it's like, ah, shit. <laughs> so my next ingredient is I'm just adding a tablespoonful of butter, salted butter that is. And that is just my secret ingredient here because it's going to give it that creamy look anyway to the stew. But it adds that nuttiness because as time goes on and it fries through, it actually burns slightly. So it has this nutty flavor that includes and infuses into the stew. Bearing in mind, I'm building upon the flavors. It's you. So yeah, this is like definitely a flavor packed stew. We mean Diago. Mm, so yes. Now, I've also made some passata, and I would leave the link in my description box below. So, all I've done is reduce some tomatoes, onion, garlic, some aniseed, and bay leaf. And I um, added a little bit of um, olive oil, and I cooked this down. So, I've reserved this in my containers and placed it in the fridge. So, it just gives me easy access. And I um, just went on to make a meal. I just used that. It's quick, and it's easy, because I've taken that time out to do so. The convenience of having this in your fridge is it allows you to cook your dishes quickly. You know, it's so convenient and works perfectly, especially during the weekday. Anyway, so to that, I'm going to be adding my tomato mixture or passata, may I say. And look how beautiful and thick this is. So this I'm just going to cook gently. Mixy, mixy, and I say, eh. Hey. <laughs> So my next ingredient is my black lime. Now this is readily available in Waitrose or online, so you can get access to it. Now the lime has been dried out 
which means that the sweetness is gone but it has the sourness to this dish but also this lovely smoky flavor as well and it just pairs perfectly with the stew absolutely now to this i'm going to be adding some fish sauce now in the absence of that you can use your little bit of anchovies um, salted anchovies that you can also get um, from the local supermarkets if in ghana you can use your dawa dawa um, which is the fermented locust beans as well and that's just balancing that flavor as well gives it that umami flavor yes so i've mixed this and it's just going to be incredible so now you've got the onions that are sweet you've got the tomato puree as well that's sweet and now we've got the black lime we're just going to add that tartiness that citrusy and slightly smoky flavor to this so you can see where this is going on yes i'm just going to be mixing this and cooking yet again if you notice on a very low heat because i'm allowing it to simmer and i'm tasting my stew as i go along so now i'm going to add my salt to taste and you notice that i just used a little bit because once it's done if it does require a bit more then i would add it because sometimes when you're using the spices if you add too much salt then it just causes a salty mess the next step is to shred my lamb shanks you can add a whole you can shred it um to my stew now i had to actually save the lamb shanks because when i made it the previous day i just scuffed two just like that but i had a little extra somewhere so i've just added that to it and yeah we're going to be mixing this together till it's well combined as i always say So I'm just going to cook this for about 10 minutes on that medium to low heat to allow the fusion of flavors to take place. So I'm respecting this stew. You see, it has to. So far, all the flavors I've incorporated in the stew are quite aromatic and almost perfumery or perfume-like, may I say. So now I need to bring it down to earth. So I'm using shiitake mushrooms which has this amazing earthy flavor. Now, shiitake mushrooms are readily available in most supermarkets. When you open it, oh, the smell sometimes like is so off-putting, but the flavor is just incredible. So I'm going to be adding my shiitake mushrooms to my stew. I know it's unusual, but it's so incredible. A, it adds bulk, you know, because yes, you know, you've got mushrooms in there as well. But it's adding that flavor that the stew needs you know it's bringing it back down a bit so it's aromatic and it's earthy mm, yum 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 mm, so this is not any other food oh. this is in dutubai for fa. think about the little detail you see mm -hmm. so i'm just going to mix everything together so it's well combined and still maintain that medium to low heat to allow the stew to just do its own wonders in the pot you know to mix mix and just like yeah just be incredible still in that world of you know earthiness i'm adding one leveled tablespoonful of my cumin seeds and i've left it whole because i just like it that way the ones you know you scoop the stew you can bite into that flavor and that just works perfectly for this dish this dish is almost done it really is almost done but would you believe what i do <laughs> of course, I had to add my little bit of my petit bell chilies. In Pakushito Bas and in Gaftai, own to Boma, Pakushito Mokoda Coco, but on Namako. And I like the colors of it. So I like the fact that it's a bijou and um, it just looks appetizing. And the fact that, you know, one can bite into it, that will just give you that little shocking herby, spicy, aromatic chili infusion. We'll say yes. Abba. <laughs> but I hope you are inspired to try this recipe because it's definitely something that I enjoy doing. Um, I like pushing myself and this is one flavor pack stew that would last you a long time. 
the portion this and freeze it as and when you do require it. You can serve it with your kinky, your yam, your rice. You can make your jello rice with it. You know, you can do a lot of things with this. But I just love the fact that I've just used ingredients that I do have in my store cupboard and created this. And I hope you're inspired to try it, most definitely. Now, the amazing thing is when I tasted it, because this is the first time I've made this stew, and I've just used my taste buds in creating it, it was just divine. So I do encourage you to do so. Try it. Now, do leave your comments below um, when you do try the recipe with your feedback because that's the only way I can grow. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. Now, naturally, I would leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. Yeah, so do check it out. And I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook as in dudubaifafa. So do follow me there as well for updates. Until next time, you take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous, and leave comments below as to what you'd like to see next. But I've got an incredible recipe coming up next for you. Mm -hmm. You better watch out.